This minute of Skate the Infinity starts with Du Bois watching Joe do a plank on the iPad. <laughs> and ends with Lunga skating dejectedly past the crowd. This is minute six of episode nine. We were special back then. Lunga looks like a sad shoujo girl here. <laughs> like a princess who's just being left at the altar. He does a little bit. He really does. Mm. Grasping at his pearls and everything. <laughs> no doki doki. No. No, no, no. No doki doki. Not yet, at least. Not yet, no. at least. I think very soon. Very soon he gets the doki doki, but we don't get to see it. We don't get to see it here on an- on Infinite no. Minute, an anime by minute podcast where we talk about Skate the Infinity minute by minute. I'm Caitlin. I'm Jonathan. Do you think they just love when they can reuse a shot like this and put it on like a different screen? Like of Joe on the iPad? Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Especially because it, like, it's such a weird cut because it basically is cutting to the same shot just... <laughs> Like just on an worse angle. quality and small land on an <laughs> angle, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was a bit jarring, I must admit. Mm. Yeah, it made me feel a bit like, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, These dub actors are like eating it up. Open your mouth, <laughs> please. Yes. Uh, is this where he's? Doesn't matter if he's on a corner or a street. <laughs> is this where we got snubba boo boo? <laughs> Yeah, uh, God's snow. No, Joe's on this godlike level. The Snowbo Boo Boo Boy, <laughs> whatever, whatever he said. Snowbo Boo Boo. <laughs> I saw you listening hard to something, and I was like, "Oh, what's coming up?" Yeah. And then I heard Snowbo Boo Boo. <laughs> snow I was like, "What the fuck did he just say?" What like is are, is he trying to insult him? I think so, but it yeah. doesn't quite make sense. Snowball boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't really sound like an insult. It just sounds like he's just mushed some syllables on the end of yeah, Snowboy. Right? And as he's saying that, you, we get like a quick cut away from close up of Joe to the a redo of the shot where he breaks the sound barrier. Oh, it looks like on the iPad. Oh yes, you're right. Actually, gosh, these the, <laughs> these drones are actually, um, you know, quite sophisticated, aren't they? The angles that yeah, they're catching right. on their cameras, <laughs> <laughs> they're flying right around him. Yeah, also you're keeping up to like pace with him, like just being right yeah. in front of his face as he speeds. speeds being there for the titty it. shot. Oh, yeah. You know a drone caught that. You know a drone's just hovering, yeah. waiting to catch those titties. And then they're gonna sell those on um sell them online. <laughs> sell the titty shot. Yeah. Uh this shot is actually quite cool where Joe's like planking in the distance. It's absurd that it's like, you know, he's planking, but like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the way the way he moves further and further away. He kind of looks like Superman. He's got a bit of a cape mm. going on, which is quite funny. But yeah, he does. He just kind of zooms away, and I, he stays in plank for this whole minute. Right? What the hell? Yeah. Planch, I should say. Sorry, he stays in both. Planch both work for this whole minute, which is quite insane. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, the strength and Lunga not feeling the doki dokis. He's but, not. Um, even though it's such a rad beef. Okay, rad beef sent me, and I was so upset when they changed it in the dub to just being an intense beef. It means so good. I was like, yeah. no, I was waiting. I was waiting for Howard to be like, and this is such a rad beef. <laughs> <laughs> rad beef. But yeah, intense beef. Uh, what it made me giggle. Such an intense beef. Such an intense beef sounds like you're eating a very, like, good piece of yeah, beef. Yeah, nice steak. This is such an intense Flavorful. beef. Yummy. Pepper. Um, and then he turns a corner. Pepper, so- and pepper Joe sauce, is not your there go-to sauce for steak? Always, yeah. Ooh. Closely followed by mushroom. Mushroom is the god tier. Yeah. I don't have pepper, Just but I don't, I'm sure it's very good. Yeah, I don't put much pepper on things, like, around Emily. Like, if I'm cooking, I don't put mm. much pepper in things because she doesn't like uh, it's too spicy for her. <laughs> no, that no, yeah. I understand. I understand. Yeah. So my bachelor meal when she's away is um cacio e pepe. Oh yeah. 
us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Valentina's like, going to make so it bad for, me. for me. I'm so yes, excited. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so bad for me. But like, yeah, every time she's not home, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go buy like $15 of Parmesan and <laughs> cook it into pasta. Got your pepe. Got your pepe. I love it. Pepe. <laughs> Lunga's face when he turns the corner is so dodge. Oh my gosh, I need to see. Yeah, oh my go god, back. it is. 525. Um, yeah. There's a few dodgy faces in this minute, Ooh, yeah. I must say. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of dodgy ones. A lot of focus on the 3D backgrounds. They were like, just fill in time with the 3D backgrounds. Yeah. He's like, I can't even see him anymore. And it's like five seconds of just a 3D background with no one on it. Yeah, but why does he slow down? This is the bit I didn't get. I think he's giving up. Isn't is it? He not accepted just defeat so easily. Up? Yeah, which is Longer's a bit. Lose. It's a bit lame. Yeah, come on, Lunga. Come on, Lunga. But he's not feeling excited. I think that's why. I don't. I don't think it's necessarily that he's not winning. It's more that he's not feeling excited by it, which he has felt Ricky's before not here. with Adam. Mm. Yes, and also because Recky's not here. Well, he knows Recky yeah. is here. He just hasn't seen Recky yet. Yeah, but maybe he's just accepting that Recky, he can't see him. So, yeah, yeah. The the reason for his skateboarding is not there. Mm. Oh, the reason for his skateboarding. <laughs> Could have worded that better. <laughs> oh no, that was beautiful, Jonathan. That was beautiful. Uh, and then we get another shot of. <laughs> This shot of the three dudes cheering on Joe and Recky just in the background, like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yeah, just in his hoodie, so Hunk funny. Kind of loose. Melt that snowball. I loved that melt that snowball made me laugh. <laughs> oh my god, I hated it. Why does Recky look like a Homestar Runner character here? <laughs> he does. Strong bed. Strong bed. Um, he kind of does, yeah. He looks like uh, <laughs> strong, sad, strong, sad. Is that his name is the yeah. grey one. Is the elephant? Yeah. Um, I'm evil. <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> Homestar Runner, so good. Yeah, damn son. We could go into some Homestar Runner songs, oh, but nobody would know we what could, we're talking no. about. No, we could. I, I'm at the urge to sing "Different Town." Is just like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Katie. I know. Don't do it. It's bubbling under the surface. Internet references. <laughs> Flash Flash doesn't exist anymore. Flash is dead. Oh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Flash. Oh, no. Um, Remember when you used to go to websites? <laughs> now we just go to Twitter and yes. Reddit and, like, yeah. there's no websites. Oh, bro. the hours I spent on Homestar bro. watching every single video. So good. Jesus Christ. Watching all the strong, bad emails. Oh, every single one. I have them on DVD. Whoa, really? Yeah, well, I used to. I don't know where they are now. I think they probably <laughs> disappeared. I used to have them on DVD. Ah, shame. So sad. The amount of things just, just disappear in our lives. Mm. But, yeah. I mean, in some ways I like not having. Uh, oh, like mountains things. and mountains of DVDs, yes. But yeah. also they're saying that you should buy DVDs because now streaming services can just yank things whenever they want. Yeah. And it's like, well, you ne- you never see it again the thread on Twitter the other day where it was like Kristen Schaal had a tweet that was like, uh, does anyone know how I get a DVD off a streaming show? <laughs> because the, a show that she was in got cancelled. Oh. And like they, there's like no DVD or anything no. of it. So somebody, I guess, pirated it and made a Blu-ray for her yeah. and sent it to her. Yeah. I mean like. It was a super cute little interaction. But that's it. Everyone's going to go just go back to pirating. Because everyone, oh, yeah. everyone's been blowing up about um, the Grease show. Um, yeah, getting cancelled. Getting cancelled and then yanked yeah. from streaming, which I think they've backtracked on at least yanking it from the service. Yeah. But even though and it's now, still cancelled. Uh, we just had to set up the reset up the Netflix again with our parents and now they're paying like eight bucks a month. It's ridiculous. We haven't they're, we haven't signed up again. I was like, I, there's nothing on Netflix that I want to watch that yeah. badly. So. Emily and her parents watch a lot of it, but I haven't watched something on Netflix for no. years, I would say. And I, I watched a show with my parents the other day, and it was a good show, but like the the fingers of the Netflix documentary style producing is like so obvious. Mm, 100%. Every show just has that like kind of stilted 
weird yeah. fake life thing going on. It so doesn't feel real. everything is so like surface level. Have you watched yeah. any of Black Mirror, the new Black Mirror? No, I haven't. Do you, are you have you watched any? I'm, I'm not a big Black Mirror person. No, I if even if you weren't. Even if, if you're just going to watch one of the new ones, I would watch Joan is Awful because it's kind of – it's about a girl who like – Selma Hayek? The Selma Hayek one, but it's Annie yeah, Murphy. Uh, <laughs> it's Annie Murphy and she turns on Netflix and there's a show about her life mm. on Netflix and she's like, what the fuck? Um, and that one's quite, a f- quite an interesting look at like streaming services and – Right. Um, what their sort of their aim and their goal is, and and what they'll resort to mm. to for get content. for content and to get streams and things like that. So right. it's quite interesting. Um, and it's not mm. too it's not too bleak. Like if you if you don't like the bleakness of it, it's quite an upbeat one with a happy ending. So yeah, um, interesting. I would suggest upbeat that one. Black Mirror. There are a couple of them. Like there are a couple mm. of them that are like have bleak moments but they end in like a positive way and then there are others that just leave you feeling like oh god yeah mm-hmm. life is misery life is so crap it brings you back to square one <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> no i shouldn't speak for everyone there's a lot of people in the world <laughs> but anyway i really enjoyed that episode so go watch cool. Joan is awful. anyway what were we talking about <laughs> uh this badly animated bit of skate <laughs> How did we get here? How did we get here, Jono? How did we get here? We just went on like a mine tunnel then. Holy shit. Um, Actually, have a a pause at around 5.46, 5.47. Okay, let me just get there. Yeah. The guy on the left looks creepy as fuck. You can just see his eye and his mouth and it's super creepy. Like (gasps) on one of the guys, like he's looking right at the camera. (laughs) I don't like that. You really think Lunker's going to win? I don't like that at all. I don't like it either. Why did I catch this? He's going to haunt my dreams, Jono. <laughs> that one's going on the, on the Twitter feed. Oh, no. When is, it, when is the TL going to be deleted? Speaking of things being deleted forever off the internet. The TL, is that what you said? Because one day that's not going to be there. Yeah, Twitter's just not going to be there. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Just like just the the streaming channels deleting things. Oh, <laughs> one day Twitter is going to just be gone. Yeah, I mean, we'll we thought that back. was going to happen like three months ago, and then it didn't happen. We did, but it will. It will. I'm sure it will. Yeah, when uh, Zuck beats Musk <laughs> in the cage, <laughs> Meta will claim Twitter. It's the wildest thing to come out of like. It was like what a the, it was the billionaire t- Titanic submarine, and then the oh, next God. day it was Andrew Tate saying he was going to train Elon Musk to fight Zuckerberg. What was the tweet I saw? It was like, "Thank God the submarine debacle happened during the writers' strike, so we didn't get an SNL <laughs> yes. sketch about it." Yeah, exactly. So accurate. So accurate. But Jesus, that was a week of like people just <sighs> shitting on five dead people, wasn't it? <laughs> Like, holy I, shit. Like, it was literally like Valentina and I would wake up and we'd immediately like check, not not the news, Twitter or TikTok Twitter. to see if there yeah. was an update. That's where we yeah. go <laughs> for updates now. Yeah. Um, Twitter is my news. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But I mean, people made a really good point because it's like, you can't, you, or, you can't empathize or sympathize with these people because- no one you know would ever be in that situation. So it's so no. it's such a foreign concept that it's just like you can't relate to it at all to feel sympathy for these people, unfortunately. Mm. Um which is quite sad. But anyway. It's and it's weird how we feel like about things that are like uh privately because that that was the main thing, the point of contention that I saw a lot of was that it's a private enterprise, but they were asking for support from the government yes. when it all went pear shaped. Yeah, which is like he- hello, it's capitalism. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, yeah. that is capitalism. Yeah. It's all private enterprise being assisted by the government. Yeah, like like why are we angry about it when it's about people in a submarine and not when it's about uh, six hundred you know, refugees Qantas? on a boat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like. You know, there's a lot wrong in the world, but it is hard to relate to, you oh know, rich people, rich people getting 
made into paste. Smushed. Oh, boy. Grim. Grim. Grim times. Yeah. Grim times. Um, isn't Snow here yet? Where did he go? And then we get another really dodgy looking recce. <laughs> The dodgiest one, I would say. I would say the dodgiest of the minute. It was it was so yeah, dodgy that I like actually Ricky. went like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Ricky if he was like a Pokemon protagonist. Yes. There's no detail. His hair even is like so wild. Yeah. It's so bad. Got that right, bro. Oh, God. He's no and way he's coming now. Slowly drifts into view. So slowly. Looking like a sad princess. Oh, no. The wind blowing his hair around. Not the sad Would you say prince. the minute ends with that shot of Lunga or the back of Reki? It's very quick. It's almost like half-half. Half-half? Um, half-half. Um, but, yeah, we, we do kind of end on this backwards. It, he looks like he's in a cloak. He looks like, you know, like a, a, mm. a member of the fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to take Lunga to Mordor. Yeah. Drop him in. <laughs> the volcano. Okay, let's Castle of the Rings. <laughs> oh, no. I, believe it or not, I'm not that big a Lord of the Rings guy. No? Okay. No, I've, okay. I've watched the first movie and I've tried so many times to read the series to the point where I've read it's The Hobbit so like six hard times. To read. <laughs> I, try, I, I, yeah. I had the book and I tried so hard to read it and it's so dense. Like, it's yeah. so dense and. There's a lot of stuff in there before they even get to like Rivendell and yeah, I was just like, oh, I don't think I can read this. Emily and I have been planning to watch them for a while because one time we were at the gym and it just happened to be on and we were just like casually watching it at the gym. <laughs> I would suggest what what I did, um, Aaron actually was like, this weekend we're going to sit down and watch all three over the weekend. Like oh, we don't God. we don't have to like back to back them, but like we'll watch one yeah. and then we'll watch one later in the day and then we'll watch one the next day. And I actually thought that worked the best because by the you end the I was picture. and I was so invested by the end of the mm. last one because I was like, oh, like the whole thing it just hit me over two days. I would suggest mm. doing that if you're going to do it. Mm. Hard ask. It's a struggle for us to watch a whole movie in one sitting. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Usually we get halfway through a movie and we're like, are we going to finish this? We're going to finish it. And then we're like, we finish a movie and we like pat ourselves on Oh, my on God. The you're back. like, yes, congrats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did it. We did it. I'm so proud of yeah. you guys. <laughs> um, but, yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll find, a, we'll find a weekend where we're not doing anything. Cute. Maybe a weekend up at the snow. That would be like such Ooh. a good little snow weekend. That would be very cute. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's the minute. That's Longer the minute. Sad. What was your favourite moment? Uh, Jonathan hasn't watched Lord of the Rings. <laughs> uh, my favourite moment was, uh, d- I, honestly, I, I was just thinking, I was like, fuck, I need to go back through and have a look at what actually happened. Cause yeah, I'm scanning through. Um, nothing did happen, I mean, f- right? Like, literally no, nothing, nothing happened. happened this minute. This was a big um, nothing minute. <laughs> yeah, it was actually like. This is up there for maybe the worst actually- minute of the show. No, because at least there was skateboarding. That other fucking yeah, minute true. where they were just like standing at Chatting. the start line. Oh, yeah. No, that one yeah. is still up there for my worst. I would say in the sub when it said, even though this is such a rad beef, because that actually genuinely made me giggle because I thought that was, I <laughs> thought that was amazing. Beef. Even though it's such a rad beef, I was really sad that they didn't keep that for the dub. Mm. Uh, but that would probably be my only one. The rest of it was pretty boring. Sorry. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty quiet minute, but they're not all going to be bangers. They aren't, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's okay. That's no. okay, and that's fine. Yeah, it's just the nature of the uh, nature of the beast that we have mm. consigned ourselves to. I think we'll hopefully get a pretty hype moment in the next minute. So it seems like we got cut off right at the big. Yes. Moment, so yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. All righty. Good to chat uh, to tweet you, Tweet at Jono. us, infinite underscore minute. Yeah, nice to see you, Caitlin. Good Monday to you. <laughs> Docs the day we record. Uh, did you say the Twitter? I did. Uh, you can email us at infiniteminutepodcast at gmail.com. And hopefully we get something happening in the next hopefully minute. Hopefully we have something happen. Have bye. Bye. <laughs> did you say have bye? Bye.